Hello everyone, Carlos here again. We're on keyboard shortcut number 11, which is gonna be about control alt spacebar, which is pretty much to save you from some annoyances. Like for example, when you buy a new keyboard shortcut, you sort of get need to get accustomed to, you know, the layout, you know, sometimes if it's like maybe a smaller keyboard shortcut because now you have a smaller laptop and you gotta get, gotta get used to it. What happens to me a lot, and that's why I include this keyboard shortcut is that for example, let me just jump into this worksheet say for example that you press uh, f you wanted to press f2 but then you because you know you press f1 by mistake and this pop-up window the help window which is magical no, no nothing against it but say that i'm using this for example pops up and you didn't want that you know so now you have to go and close it with your mouse and click here um, let me just move it here and you click the x button to close it down and then you press f2 Again, you know, that sort of annoyance you can save it with your keyboard shortcut, okay? And there's also another use for that. I'm gonna also show you another example. So let me expand this and then F do F1 with my keyboard. So usually this interface should really op uh, really like appear where right now I'm located. I'm, I'm gonna move my camera right now. But see, once you open it, you can close it down by pressing, okay? I'm gonna now collapse this and maybe put it right here. Okay, we can still see it. And we don't see a lot from the right here this area of the spreadsheet okay you can actually press Control alt spacebar okay but it didn't work it didn't work because now i lost the current selection so the way to really jump into that section is actually function key or f6 you press it once but you have to press it twice another time so okay now we did it twice two times and then Control alt spacebar and now we get this pop-up window which is actually like the op the options of this arrow, and now we can close it, moving with our with our keyboard with our arrows. Okay, you can actually move around here, or you can press, and then once you get to close, we can hit enter, or you can actually go and press C because it's underlined. When this happens, as I said previously in other videos, then you can use the keystroke C to close it down immediately. So I'm gonna back up now and do C, and now you can close it again. So F1. Because now I did F1 uh, on purpose. If I wanted to close it, because immediately it's ha it has been open, I do Control Alt Spacebar, and it didn't work either. Okay, so if it, it happens, it usually works. Once it's open, immediately you can do Control Alt Spacebar, and that pop-up window will appear. In this case, it didn't work again, but we do F6, and then once we do the first time F6, you can notice that this got marked. Okay, table. Okay. And now I do F6 one more time. And now I'm in the options of the help window. I'm in the interface of, of the help window. And now control all spacebar. And now, well, let's just uh, move myself here. Okay. Again, we'll start from here. F6 twice. One, two. And then control all spacebar. And we can now close it with my arrows or pressing C. I'm going to just move to the option of close and do enter. And now we can close it. Okay. Maybe you will find this keyboard shortcut a bit silly, but to be honest, it quite saved me a lot of times to just move my mouse and get to that air, uh, area and close it down, you know, just do it if in case it happens to you by, you know, getting used to a new keyboard and that you messed up in pressing F2 and you pressed F1, then, you know, this is going to be also your, your keyboard shortcut that will help you a lot. Also, too, that, for example, let's say we make a chart from here. For example, this is the other example. And actually, I have I have been going so fast, and I apologize that we didn't even go over the agenda. So really, pretty much, what is it for? Pretty much, is for that to closing these type of windows, okay? And because it will also save you from a lot of annoyances. Pretty much, for like getting to know a keyboard shortcut, you might pressing down these pop-up windows. You can close them down with Control Alt Spacebar. Another one, for example, that a lot of people want once they bring it in. For example, I'm just gonna create a simple chart from here just a simple bar chart from here and we'll just put it here so we'll put it here and now it should fit perfect okay so once i'm in the chart if i click on the chart and then i do a uh, control one okay this pop-up window is gonna appear okay right now it's, it's outside but let me see if i expand this it's still there let's say right here so sometimes what happens to some people is that they bring it okay actually so you can see it stays there I do control one and sometimes they actually they get annoyed that it's right there and they close it you know they close it with pressing the x button right here okay 
But the thing is, the one thing I want to recommend you is that you can snap it out. You can snap this area right here, okay, right where I am located. And you, what you have to do, okay, for that is actually, that's perfect. That's perfect. We have it there because we have the spreadsheet. And you can see that you have to left click, okay, left click. But you have to get yourself to where the chart area is, okay, right here, okay. And once you're there, okay, maybe it's not working. But once you're there and once you see that the pointer has the arrows, the white arrows going up, up and down and sideways, then you actually left click, hold it down, okay, and then you snap it from outside its area. Why is that very useful? Because now you can put it on top of the ribbon and you can actually expand it, okay. Now, if you wanted to close it, again, the same keyboard shortcut is gonna apply here. So let me just close this, okay? And now we have to do F6 twice, okay? One, okay? And twice. And now we can do Control Alt Spacebar. Okay, it didn't work for this one, hold on. So let's just start it here again. F6 twice, one, two. And then Control Alt Spacebar. And see, you get the pop-up window right here to close this window out. So what I'm just trying to maybe uh, to promote a little bit is to really that you can close this type of windows with your keyboard shortcut or with your keyboard, just pressing control. Oh, we can't even see my finger, so sorry about that. Okay, with control, alt, and spacebar. Okay, in control, alt, you have to hold them down. And remember the analogy of the clutch on video number one? So, okay, so that's way you can close it down with control, alt, spacebar. Let me do it one more time you guys to see and that's it we conclude this video so f6 one second time control alt spacebar and then we can press c or we can move with our arrow up and down and we'll do with our arrows and enter and that's it and you close this type of and this type of windows or interfaces that help you out with your charts or other uh, tool that you're working on with excel so that's it for this video and i'll see you for number 12 thank you